Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Last time, we did a lot of things in Abydos. We gave some guys some pearls, went and explored a museum, and uh, tried to compete in a rigged challenge that was rigged because it's not fair. I can't do double jumps, crocodile man. What do you think I can do? Apparently double jumps, but I can't as of now. Anyway, we are going to use a key that we got from the, the, uh, the man in pink with the grizzly voice. The stairs key, in fact, which will help us get up here to a new area of Abydos. We can actually go to more of the city. I am, like, licking my microphone, and that is not cool. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love the city. Oh, it's wonderful. Yes. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Notice all these zip lines. Hmm, I hope we get something that can help us use those, or else, well, we're kind of stranded. Hmm. What could this be? Montu's Monster Shop. New monsters now in stock? Ooh, monsters! I love monsters. Let's go find some monsters. They're probably domesticated animals, because uh, why would you sell something that would murder you? Well, I guess anything can murder you, really, but you... You don't, you don't necessarily want to sell anything that has a high potential of murdering you. Uh, let's check out the shop. It's rather dusty. Um, but look, he's got stuff. Plenty of stuff, actually. And these, all of these monsters, in fact, you need to buy them for the... can't remember what's... I'm trying to remember what's called. The museum, that's it. These filled the museum. But some of them, well, we'll see. This is a small frog. It looks nothing like a frog. A, uh, a shell critter. It actually has a shell, so it makes sense. Um, and a rat. I want to beg to differ. <laughs> I could understand how that would be a rat, but I can understand how it wouldn't be. We'll go with it. That looks like a rubber chicken come to life. Featherless turkey, okay. That one works. 700 scarab, that's an outrageous price. Don't know who'd buy that, other than me. Um, this one's pretty, I like this one. It's a shuttlecock bird. 900 scarabs. How are we gonna get that money? My goodness. And then a mummy bird, which is 300 scarabs. I like the shuttlecock bird. This is so annoying. I've always wanted to buy this monster, but at these prices I'll never save for age. I'll need to save for ages before I can afford one. Ah, uh, sorry, dog man. Uh, hey, welcome to Montu's Monster Shop. You can sell your monsters here or buy a new one from our extensive catalog. If you want to buy a monster, just go over to it and pick it yourself. Of course, you can't release your monster in the city. That is absurdly forbidden. Especially after that nasty incident with the mayor last year. He couldn't sit down for weeks. Mm, I think I'm going to do that with my nose pinched because he's got, like, the trunk. Anyway, yes, very pricey stuff. The only thing that we could probably buy right now, or soon, is the small frog. Since it costs the least. I think it costs the least. Um, I don't know why a small frog would cost less than a rat. But the rats, I think, cost... I didn't really pay attention to the price. So I think the rat actually costs more than a frog. And I don't know. I don't know how this, know how this works. The rat was kind of ugly. And I don't know who would want to own it. Except for the museum, of course. Oh, this dude's cool. He, this is homeless guy. Can you spare a few scarabs, my friend? I suppose. Here's... Uh, wait, two or ten. I'll be a good soul. Oh, thanks, friend. You're a generous man. Thank you. I'm not sure if he really does much, but I'm a nice person, so I'll give him 10 scarabs. Panabus Paramatching Place. Make memory with money. Ooh, money. I want to make money. Wait, it didn't say make money with memory, so I'm probably going to lose money and gain memory. Hmm. So, instead of having 3 gigabytes on my computer, I'll have 4 when I finish this. That'll be cool. Anyway... Ah, memory challenges. Oh, how am I going to do your voice? You look cool. I can't even distinguish it what animal you are. 
Sorry, but you can't play unless you have a blowpipe. Oh, forget you. Ugh. Oh, I remember this game. I don't even want to play this right now. <laughs> Ugh. This game. Mm. Memory games. Fun times. But yes, blowpipes. We'll probably go on those soon. Very interesting. Yes. Oh, that familiar loading screen. We're going to get used to that. Lovely loading screens. Ow, my finger hurts. It actually is kind of calloused because I've been folding origami a bunch lately. And pressing hard on my na with my nail to make the creases all nice and creased. Making paper cranes. I'm going to try to go for a thousand. It's nice. It's fun. I so far, I think I'm at... 31? Maybe? Yeah, 31 out of a thousand. Whatever it is, I'm not buying it! Oh boy, sorry. But yeah, 31 out of a thousand. It's going to be quite a journey. It's fun though. I enjoy folding cranes. Sork and Sequence Shack. Successful sequences score scarabs. Hmm. Well, I'll be scoring stuff, so... That'll be good. I'm getting money. And money equals good, so I like money. Hmm. Well, if we're going to be earning money, I mean, the last one said we'd make memory with money. This one says we'll make money. So, uh, ooh, he's cool. He looks like Dracula. Reminds me of a vampire, at least. Welcome to the mystical sequence game. For the reasonable price of five scarabs, you may test your skills by magical shrine. Would you like to play? Sure. Walk down the walkway to the center platform. Try and remember the sequence that appears before you. Copy the sequence to win. You can view each sequence by, again, again, by jumping on the center platform, but only once. Oh no, it's this. It's Simon Says. Red, blue, green. I can remember that. Red, blue, green. Will I just make money from this? Hmm. Fun little game. Yellow, blue, red. That's not too hard. More money. Well, not money, just winning. Blue, green. If I could hit it. Blue. And yellow, green, blue. Oh, we actually got money. Congratulations, you won. As a prize, you can have ten scarabs. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a fun little mini game, I guess. A lot of fun. With our creepy little Dracula friend. Um, I think I'm going... I might wrap up the episode early this time, too. Because it's getting late, and people people need to sleep. I'm being quite loud, so... Or, loudish. And I need to sleep. So, uh... I think I might wrap this up in a bit. I'll just walk down the street, and we'll check out some buildings. Another door. Having dinner! Come back later! It's the middle of the day. Actually, it's a, it looks an afternoonish, but it's afternoon the entire game here. So, uh, I'm not gonna fall for that argument, sir. Ooh, but we did make a lot of money, and I heard a lot of lag, so I hope it didn't lag for you. Now, uh, what's down here? A gate with a guy! He's gonna block us. Or he Let's see some identification. Erm, um, I appear to have misplaced it. Yes, yes, likely story. No identification, no entrance. We can't just go just letting anyone have access to the council chambers. They get lost. Well, this guy's not nice like the museum guard. Forget him. That boat looks interesting. We'll probably have to go there later. I hope to. But yes, the main point of this right now, what we're doing here in Abydos, we can't really go anywhere yet, as you might notice. And the reason is, that boat. We can't get to it. That's an important boat. It will take us to where we want to go, but since we can't reach it, it's kind of pointless. Right now. Instead, we need to make money, and possibly buy a small frog. Uh, sorry, don't have identification. Yeah, we can't really go anywhere until we get our small frog or just monster in general. And with that, we could give it to the um, the guy at the shop, 
or give the money to the guy at the shop, buy a small frog, and then give the small frog to the guy at the museum. Oh gosh! I didn't even see eels in the water and it killed me. I'm pretty sure there's some law or something in nature that says that eels, there's a specific proximity that eels shock in a water. So those must be some extremely powerful eels, because I saw not a single eel in that pool of water. <laughs> it's not necessarily a pool, though, it's an ocean. So, yeah. Let's actually jump over it, though. Kept the inventor. No visitors, unless on official business. Hmm. Inventors. Stop knocking on my doors, official visitors only. Fine, nobody here is nice. My goodness, everyone needs to just smile. Cheer up. Hmm. Uh, it's a crazy city, Abydos, but I love it. But yes, anyway, we need to go on a journey to make cash. Money. And one of the best ways of doing that, other than just smashing pots, is that, uh, that memory game. Which, even though memory games are, well... Well, memory games are fun. It doesn't necessarily take long to beat these memory games. So I think I'll do another one. For fun. And then we might go cash in our money. At the pet shop. Go buy a frog. Was it 70? I think it was 70 scarabs. Yeah, I think it was 70 scarabs. And we have 68, so we only really need two. I just hope I don't lose it. Ah, it's the blowpipe thing. Dang it, sir. Well, at least when we come out here, all the pots will respawn. So I can just smash them for money. Can't the blowpipe guy just give me money? And then, like... I mean, it's only two coins. I can go to the beggar guy and take my ten back. But he'll probably get mad at me. And I'm a good person, so I won't do that. Huh. Hope you didn't hear what I was thinking about. You're a nice guy. I don't want to rob you of money that I gave you, even though it's my money. Mmm, yes. Sorry! I kind of don't have any good commentary right now as I'm looking for, uh, for a couple pots to break. I mean, I do have commentary, and I hope you're enjoying the commentary, but it's not very interactive. Thoughtful. No, Scarab! There we go. Never thought, like, one Scarab would want to escape me so much. Speaking of the Scarabs, why why does our money move? I mean, I think it's not that successful if you make money that moves in a game. Or not in a game, in a society in general. Because if your money moves, your money runs away from you. Where do you keep it? In a jar in your pants? I mean, I mean, moving scarabs and then the scuttling in your pockets everywhere? I mean, think of pocket change. You'd be sticking bugs in your pocket and they'd just be crawling around. I mean... That's funky. And since the, these also glow, so when you stick them in their pocket, they emit a bright light. So you've got, like, shiny super pockets. It's crazy. I don't know what I'm comparing anything to anymore. Okay, how does the rat cast cost more than the frog? Well, the frog looks cooler, so I'll buy it. That would... Frogs cost 70 scarabs each. Would you like to buy one? Yes, I'd love to. Oh, I don't want any more. Thank you, though. Please look around. Maybe you'll find something else that interests you. Ah, well, thank you, sir. We bought a frog. Are they sold out now, or can you buy another? Oh, you can buy another, in fact. Interesting. Well, I can't get my monster out in the street, so I wonder if I can actually... I've never really used, a... used him before. I wonder if you can take him out. I'm going to go donate him to the museum, but I might try that later. I might just buy another small frog and see that, well, when we reach somewhere else in the game, if we can take him out and play with him. That would be cool. Can't really, There's not really an option to take him out, though, so I suppose not. Anyway, let's go deposit this at the museum, and then I think I'll end the video. Now, the museum's back here... Guard's not on duty anymore, so we'll just head on in. Yes! Ah. 
I hope we'll be happy with our donation of a frog. It's a cool looking frog though, I mean, I'll also give him that. You might like it. Welcome to the Abyssus Museum, I've read this. Would you like to donate something? The museum would be pleased to reward your generosity if you would. I'd love to. Have a frog. A small frog. Certainly small, but also toxic. Why thank you so much for your donation, sir. Sir, the formal glory of our museum is beginning to be restored. As a reward for contributing an animal to the city's museum, I would like to present you with this zipline handle. It allows you to use the numerous zip lines located around our city. It's easy to use the zip lines to stand near th near the end of the zip line rope and jump. That's all there is to it. You got the zip line handle. You can now zip across lines in Abydos to get around the city. That's what we were looking for. This is a very important item in the game that will help us get in many places. Like that boat. I mean, we can't get to the boat without it. And that would mean we can't progress in the game, so it's good we got that. It's going to be very helpful. And zip lines are fun. Who doesn't like a zip line? And it's really easy. All you have to do is buy a frog and then give it to someone. And, like, you get money for buying a frog by, like, just smashing pots and picking up money. Hmm. Who knew that destroying pottery pays? Don't necessarily do that, though. That's bad. Oh, but let's test it out here. Look at that. That's cool. And now we got down to the slightly interesting boat. Nice. Now, I don't know how that one works. It must be magical. Because it went up. Up an incline. Anyway, yes. Time to end the episode. Um, next time, we'll continue exploring Optos and probably go to that boat. See you guys then. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.